In this video, we are going to be talking about the dangers of using the rigid four gallon portable vacuum cleaner. Now let's get straight into it. What's going on? So glad you guys are here and welcome back to the Wilson Auto Detailing community. If you're a professional auto detailer who wants to become more successful and profitable in your business or just a car enthusiast who wants to improve your detailing ability, then definitely consider hitting that big red subscribe button right below this video. So in the detailing world, one really popular vacuum cleaner that I push as well is the four gallon rigid portable portable shop vac. Why do I push this vacuum? Well, I will hook up a link in the YouTube card right now where you guys can go see my review of it. And of course, there's an entire playlist on my channel. But one thing that many detailers do not address, it seems by and large in the detailing community, is the dangers of using this specific vacuum cleaner. So I want to address those right now. So danger number one that I'd like to address is the chisel or the crevice tool itself, which comes with this vacuum cleaner if you buy it on Amazon or buy it at Home Depot. If you you are not careful, this hard plastic can damage a car in a very serious way. Number one, it can damage leather, much like you get hangnails on your fingernails and they catch things and almost pull and can uh, scuff or scratch things. This can do the same thing. This plastic can sometimes start to fray at the end and it gets like these hangnails, what I call them, and they scratch leather, they scratch cloth seats, they'll actually tear cloth seats. They'll tear and fray carpets. And so what I do is I sand the tip of this down, even inside of it a little bit, with probably about 800 to 600 grit sandpaper until it is like smooth as a baby. Danger number two that I would like to address is the hose itself. This is a fairly long hose. I don't know exactly how long it is. The rigid four gallon shop vac or portable vac comes with a specific hose, but I actually change the hose because the hose it comes with is is very flexible, very malleable, and it actually has a tendency, because this motor is so strong and the suction is so strong, at the base of this vacuum right here where the suction is probably most powerful, that hose that comes with it starts to actually bend right here and get concave, and it hurts the suction power, and it ultimately hurts your vacuum and your detailing ability. So because I switch it with this one, this is a hard hose, I can't squeeze it or bend it with my hands, so it's really awesome, but at the same time, there are drawbacks just like anything else in the detailing world. Yes, it is not malleable, it's very tough, I can throw it around, but sometimes if you're not careful when you're pulling this hose to pull the vacuum because it rolls, the hose can smack the paint. And especially on paint like this white car, when this kind of thing hits the paint to, at, at some sort of like high velocity or pretty strongly, it can scuff the paint, it can leave even some of the orange part of this hose on the paint as a sort of transfer, and so that that is something else that needs to be watched very carefully. Danger number three that I would like to address is the brush head attachment. A lot of people like this attachment for dog hair. They like it for like interior final dusting, final vacuuming, but these are nylon bristles and once again, if you are not careful, you will scratch interior surfaces with these nylon bristles. That is why I carry things like makeup brushes that are very soft because you have materials like this on the car. These materials are clear coated. Yes, it's a very shiny plastic. Yes, it probably looks cool when it's clean. Yes, this chrome looks great when it's clean, but at the same time, these are very fragile pieces, and these rough nylon brushes, when you drag them across these clear coated pieces, it will absolutely scratch this, just like a toothbrush would. So once again, is it a good tool? Yes, it is. Does it have drawbacks and dangers? Yes, it does. Now, danger number four and the last thing that I really want to address here is simply dragging the vacuum itself. Sometimes people are, they get lazy when they're detailing and rather than picking up the rigid shop vac or the rigid portable vac by the handle and pulling it up to the other side of the car, we take the hose and we drag it. And as we drag it, guess what happens? It smacks the rear bumper of the vehicle. And and then, of course, same thing with the hose, you risk transfer, you risk scuffing, and though maybe you're able to fix it if you're good at polishing or you understand how to remove transfer or it's a minor situation, but guess what? If it's not a minor situation and you actually scratch the paint, you're either gonna have to wet sand and polish and follow your own work and do it for free, or you're gonna have to tell the customer that you jacked it up. So are those fairly simple things in the detailing world? Yes, they are, but it seems that we're not really addressing
addressing them as professional detailers for the people who are starting in the business. Because I'm now training some new employees, my wheels are turning because I'm realizing things that I would assume people know, they really don't think about. And so this is one of those things that I was talking about today with them and thought would be great content for you guys, especially when you're beginning. It's the same thing with a hose. A lot of times we whip the hose to get more slack towards us and the hose hits the paint rather than just going over there, picking it up and bringing it back. But things like sanding down the tip of the vacuum, not using the nylon brushes on the clear coated plastic fragile areas. Those are things that maybe if you're starting in the detailing world, you would not be thinking about. And really the great thing about all of this is that it can be easily avoided with just a tiny bit of knowledge and two or three seconds of extra work. These are things you don't have to deal with, but they're things that I had to learn the hard way when I started seven years ago. Things that I didn't think about, things that nobody taught me, didn't have things like YouTube full of a detailing community. So for those of you who are beginning, yes, this stuff is simple, but still extremely important. Now, apart from the dangers of the rigid portable vac, it is actually an incredible vacuum. It's very small, very portable. And if you are a mobile detailer or even a detailer in a shop, I would consider this an absolutely must have necessity for professional level, beginner, car enthusiast, anybody. So of course, check out the other videos I have on this. You can buy this with my Amazon links below this video. It's also available at Home Depot, probably around $80-ish, depending on where you live. But if you use Amazon links below this video to buy this, it does give my channel a very small commission, but it helps this channel stay alive so I can continue to give out awesome content just like this all the time. And for those of you who are wondering, yes, the term shop vac does uh, refer to a different vacuum company, but in a lot of ways, the phrase shop vac kind of has begun to encompass this kind of vacuum in general. So when I say rigid shop vac, it's not actually a shop vac. It's just my way of identifying what kind of vacuum this is because people can relate to it. But anyways, if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. And if you have any questions, comments, concerns, hook up all that stuff in the YouTube comments below because I always read those and I'm sure to get back to you guys as fast as I can. And if you're new here, definitely consider subscribing because I come out with videos all the time just like this on products, tools, strategies, communication skills, business skills, and so much more, all to help the pro detailers become more successful and profitable in your businesses. And on this channel, I share the exact strategies that took my detailing business to a full-time income with only part-time hours. So if you're interested in that, definitely subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. And as always from Luke here at Wilson Auto Detailing, keep working hard and I'll see you guys in the next video.